So, you know, in every procedure, choice of patients is obviously very important. Starting the infusion at 90 mils per hour. No. Uh, this are becoming more and more sleepy. I'm going to be giving her a bonus dose of 2 milligrams of my there. And 50 marks of fentanyl. And the reason I'm doing this is just the Presidex takes a while before it gets to the level of sedation that is required and they're going to want to stop the operation before that. So this will help us provide some anterograde amnesia and some analgesia. That's fine. Just want to no wiggling around, no moving. And all I want you to do is hold your breath when I ask you. Apart from that, do nothing. It takes a while before you become really sleepy, so... It's around 90 miles per hour, and um, I'm going to run to... Uh, How are you going, Mrs. Barrow? Sorry? Yeah, it's going to take some pictures of you now, okay? Don't move. If I ask you to hold your breath, hold it, otherwise just breathe normally. All's well. So we, we're running a basal infusion right now at 7 miles per hour. Yeah, Ready when you are, mate. Keep it nice and still. Don't move. Take a breath in now. Breathe in. Breathe in and stop breathing. Stop breathing. Stop breathing until we ask you. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Good. Breathe normally. Now you can breathe. Um, 80, 85 kilograms. Mentally very much intact. She's got a narrowing of her superficial femoral artery. And so what we do is a angiogram followed by an angioplasty and possibly a stent. Um, she's got quite a good level of sedation, so the patient selection is the same for everyone. You know, she's the operative. So just take that rate down, it was a seven, and I reckon that because she's lying so nicely, it would actually be quite okay to reduce her rate a bit. So um, I'm, I'm going to take her down to, to five and a half, which I, I think is going to be sufficient for her. So we had a slight blood pressure drop? It's slight. You, you can have a look at that. But she's still perfusing well, her saturation is good, her heart rate is, is nice and steady, but she has dropped a little. Uh, she's only running at five and a half miles an hour. She's good, so if that's a low dose, she's beautifully sedated. She's snoring away, she's not moving, everything in her So this is really a very nice result. I might give her a small dose if we're doing a pick up real fast, right? I've got a five and a half um, miles per hour, so that is roughly 0.025. Uh -huh. Microgram per kilogram per hour. Yeah. And we loaded uh, a total loading dose of, of um, 13 and a half mils. And um, if, if you would look at the, the normal loading dose is 21.3 for that weight uh -huh. at 127. But I gave her less than that. I only gave her, basically, I gave her just around about 60% of the recommended loading dose. Um, over 10 minutes, so instead of giving you 21.3, I gave it 13, which is less than the normal loading does. But do remember, I did add to that 50 marks of fentanyl and 2 milligrams of my dacilam. Right on the lower dose of the infusion range, point not too far. And she's effectively sedated. She's sleeping. Beautiful. Pointing out where the blockages are in this patient. Oh, there's actually one on the... Um so the stent placement, where they let's place the target We're position. Probably one stent here, and another one up higher in that, that higher blockage here, which is being deployed. It's just being compressed in here by the lesion. I'm just going to blow up the balloon in a second now. I'll just push that up against the wall and punch that plaque out of the way. That might be as big as it's going to get. A bit of plumbing it. So we've given a 19 and a half mils altogether. Um, the time now is 10 to 2. Um, because the procedure is essentially finished, all they're going to do is, is closing up and dressing. And I think that'll take about 10 minutes, and I think that we will see how we go. So we'll stop the concrete here at this stage. Other forms of TIVA, for example, the form of TIVA that we use for a patient having a colonoscopy or gastroscopy, this would not be the appropriate technique because that type of patient, we want them sedated, we want them awake very soon afterwards and able to go home and be street ready very soon. I would not recommend it for someone that you're expecting to send them home a short while later because we know it's a long acting drug and the station lasts quite a while. But it's a different indication completely. These patients who are in their 70s and have severe vasculopathy, having work on the major vessels, shouldn't be going home the same day. So, what I'm really doing is giving a really small dose of epigreen and epigreen hot on it. 
uh, being positive on a truck, um, it, it, uh, it's a positive crack. So this is going to increase her heart rate and increase her blood pressure slightly. We should have given her 15 milligrams of ephedrine. Hi there, we finished. How are you feeling? Sleepy. Sleepy? That's good. Do you have any discomfort? Do you remember anything about the procedure? Didn't feel a thing. Wonderful. Another satisfied customer.